Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term cancer survivor, cancer coach, and director of People Beating Cancer. Welcome to the vlog blog post regarding um, what I consider the ugly long-term side effects of stem cell transplantation. In my case, I underwent an autologous stem cell transplant. That's using my own stem cells. Um, according to research, ugly side effects, long-term side effects are in general worse or more pronounced for an allogeneic stem cell transplant. This post is specifically about uh, autologous stem cell transplant. Many myeloma patients in particular wonder if they should have a stem cell transplant, autologous stem cell transplant or not. The challenge in my opinion is to figure out the risks, weigh what could possibly go wrong with the benefits. What your oncologist probably does not discuss thoroughly are the long-term late stage side effects because multiple myeloma, average life expectancy, uh, five-year survival rate, 52%, I think these days, uh, half patient, half the patients are gone after five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years. That's a challenge. We all hope for longer survival. What I'm talking about, what I have experienced is after eight, 10 years of surviving the high dose aggressive chemo that is required for an autologous stem cell transplant that relates to, that causes serious side effects. Um, in my case, um, nerve damage, um, all manner of problems with um, my mobility. Dys dysphagia and xerostomia probably were more a function of the radiation I underwent, but all to say toxicity causes problems, not just short-term problems, but the patient has to think about the longer term. I get that we all are just trying to make it for three, four, five years. It's difficult to think about the long-term problems that you might encounter. All I'm doing is really sort of trying to educate the patient as to this, is, this kind of thing can happen. So what I consider ugly long-term side effects of high-dose chemotherapy, aggressive high-dose chemotherapy, autologous stem cell transplant, uh, everything from basically um, those main long-term side effects, chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy, basically um, muscle problems, joint problems, bone pain, all resulting risk of second secondary cancers, um, increased risk of uh, um, <clears throat> skin cancers. There are a host of long-term problems. If you have any questions, comments, if you wonder what these are, if you wonder about them, scroll down the page, send me a question or a comment. I'll reply to you ASAP. In the meantime, be well. Thank you for your time.